The education market is one that I think is really underestimated by the, uh, the film industry as a whole, mm -hmm. and I think that uh, it's a market that's very different from television, and uh, for a number of reasons. I, I, I always think television is like whitewater rafting, you know, an extreme sport. You know, you, you, there are adrenaline rushes and high emotions and pitfalls everywhere and people yelling opinions at you and instructions on how to manage television and so on. But in the education market, it's like, um, uh, it's like a, an open field for, for a stallion when the, the saddle's taken off. You can run free, you know, you've got much more room to move creatively. Um, uh, you're, you're not subject to a lot of the constraints that television people are subject to and you're not subject to the same sorts of budgets necessarily. So making films for the education market, I would argue, is a way of creating a sustainable business for filmmakers. Television, you know, gives you a big payment once off and then, you know, good luck to you. It's not really a sustainable business model for a lot of filmmakers. I would say things like um, uh, running time is not a constraint. Length is good in the education market. Any length is good, actually. Whereas television, you're really stuck with your 26 minutes or 24 minutes or 52 minutes or 54 minutes or 40 minutes. But it, there are, they're going to be, depending who your buyer is, they're going to be fixed lengths. Um, we're not fussy about production values because what we're interested in in the education market is subject matter. So we're not interested in whether something is in high definition or standard definition, whether there are technical glitches. We'll tolerate those things because uh, we want strong subject matter. So a bit of camera wobble or a, uh, a dropout. Um, who cares if the, subject, if the subject matter is really tracking talking heads are good. Television, uh, television documentary has an aversion to talking heads. You've got to have overlay and cutaways and chop things up into little bits. But a good talking head in the education market can carry a long film, you know, uh, can play for the duration of the statement or the subject matter. DVD remains a really important part of our marketplace. Um, uh, streaming uh, services like Canopies are really good uh, extensions of the marketplace, but the traditional forms of delivery are still really, really strong and are growing. Librarians want hard copies on their shelves, nicely packaged hard copies on their shelves. That's how they value their collection. Having access to a streaming license, uh, having access to a stream is not, they can't put a value on it. You know, they can't say it's part of the library, huh. um, but librarians want that. So. It's not so much in educational institutions, but public libraries, librarians running resource centres in community organisations, hospitals and health centres, churches and, and so on, want hard copies. Yeah. And that is a fact of life for us. It's growing. It is not like the feature film home entertainment area where DVDs, are, we're all told, are you know, on, on, on their last legs. In the education market, I think DVD is going to be around for a very long time.